Yo, what is up, people? Welcome back to another video. So today we are going to talk about starting a junk removal company. Should you start a junk removal company? Um, what to expect? Some test runs you should run. Just stuff like that. This video isn't scripted, so don't expect it to be the most organized video in the world. <laughs> and if I repeat myself a few times, I'm already sorry about that. But yeah, let's just hop right into it. The first thing I would do before you even think about starting a junk removal company is check your area and see where the closest landfill is next to your house. Like if the closest landfill to your house is an hour away, um, unless you have a super gas efficient truck and you're willing to burn a lot of extra time to drive to that landfill to start this kind of business, then I don't think it's very viable because you're gonna be spending so much money in gas just to get back and forth to the landfill because when you're pulling trailers the gas mileage on whatever truck you have goes down drastically like and even in my new toyota tundra like that thing gets such good gas mileage without a trailer and then i throw a trailer on and it's like eh, mediocre like a little bit better than my old truck but still like not nothing crazy like 10 to 12 miles to the gallon so if i was driving an hour to the landfill especially if a job's like 20 minutes in the opposite direction the landfill like it just wouldn't be very viable so that is probably the first thing you got to figure out is where this closest landfill and what they're charging. Like if their rates are astronomical and junk removal companies are charging in your area a hundred dollars to remove a king size mattress and the closest landfill to you is a $75 minimum to dump, then that isn't really not going to work out. So that is two things I would figure out right off the rip is where's the closest landfill? What are their prices looking like? Are you able to even dump there? Is your city even going to allow you to start doing a trash removal business? All this stuff. You just got to see if you're even able to start a junk rule in your city before you even think about getting started. So once you figure that all out, you found a landfill, uh, your city allows you to start a junk rule company. The prices are reasonable at your landfill where you're still going to be able to be profitable. The next thing you got to figure out is how you're going to start. So if you're one of those people that has a nine to five or you have a full-time job, you're working 40 hours a week, because that's mainly what I'm making this video for. If you're like some 17 year old kid that works at Chick-fil-A 15 hours a week and you have a few thousand dollars saved up, um, this is, I'm not really talking to you, but like some advice I could give to you, someone like that is if you have a few thousand dollars saved up, just go for it. Like spend a thousand bucks on a landscaping trailer, start doing some free advertising. And if things don't work six months down the road, you can sure you can sell that thousand dollar trailer you bought off Facebook marketplace for still a thousand bucks. So really what do you got to lose? But for my people out there that work full-time jobs and are looking to either quit their job to start a junk removal business or start as a side hustle, don't quit your job. Now definitely take the side hustle route if you're work, say you're working nine to five and you want to start doing drug removal, you get the trailer off Facebook. You start with a thousand dollar, fifteen hundred dollar landscaping trailer. You build the walls on it. You can do exactly what I did. Copy my videos exactly. And you start doing your free marketing. You're you're advertising on Facebook. You're advertising on the next door app. You're advertising on Craigslist for five bucks a day. And your phone starts ringing. You're gonna have to schedule the jobs either before work at like six in the morning to give yourself enough time to do the job and still get to work or after work from like six o'clock to seven o'clock when the sun's barely still up. So that is something you're gonna ask yourself. Do you have enough time around your real job to actually do junk removal? And are you willing to sacrifice your free time when you're usually relaxing or sleeping off work to start building this side hustle, this junk removal side hustle into a full-time business. If all that checks out, you found the landfill, you're allowed to start the business, you're willing to sacrifice your free time outside of your work to build this side hustle into a full-time business, the next thing I would ask yourself is, are you physically and mentally capable of taking on this business model? Because physically, you guys have seen me do some gnarly jobs like wheelbarrow roofing shingle, concrete roofing shingles from the side of someone's house into my trailer, 50 loads of wheelbarrows that are almost like 100 pounds each, loading up trailers with 3,000 pounds of drywall. I would consider myself a little bit above average in shape person. I mean, I go to the gym five days a week. I do my cardio. I race motocross when I'm not injured at a pretty high level that is very physically demanding. So I would say I'm a pretty in shape guy and there are some jobs that I'm out there literally about to pass out, like completely soaked in sweat, head to toe. I mean, my pits right now i just got off work not that long ago my armpits are still sweating but i think it's like 70 77 degrees in my room for some reason right now physically this business model can be very physically demanding at times if you're running it by yourself i'm sure you're going to be if you're starting this as a side hustle there's going to be hard days out there so you just got to be prepared for that and make sure that you're not super out of shape and you're able to do this kind of stuff in a timely manner because no one's going to want you to take 
20 breaks to remove a pile of concrete out of their backyard and you'd be there all day and it's just not going to be time efficient for yourself now for the mental aspect of it what i meant by that is are you capable of taking on this amount of responsibility and stress because running a junk rule business can be super stressful at times because there's so much responsibility especially when you get to the point to where you're quitting your full-time job because your junk rule side hustle is making you more money than your actual job and you want to you go full steam ahead you hire a marketing team you have all these expenses now you're paying for local ads you're paying for google ads commercial insurance all that stuff and you have all this overhead and say you have one a few bad weeks and your phone's not ringing that could be stressful trust me I'm telling you firsthand i've dealt with that that is super stressful it'll keep you up at night so that is another thing you're going to ask yourself is are you mentally capable of taking on that amount of responsibility and stress. And the last thing I would check out before you think just hopping right into this is look in your area and see how many other junk removal companies there are. Because if you do a quick Google search junk removal near me and 20 junk removal companies come up that are not even 10 miles from your house, then it might not be the best place to try to start a junk removal company. Maybe try something else like moving or pressure washing before you try to jump in to the most saturated business in your area. So to answer your question, should you start a junk removal company? Um, it's literally up to you. If all these check out, uh, it's not too competitive in your area, you have a landfill that you're able to dump at and still be profitable and it's not super far from your house, your city allows it, you can get the permit, all this stuff I went over checks out, you have free time on the weekends or something to schedule jobs, then go right ahead, start your junk removal company. But a few of these things are just not working out for you, you don't have the time or it's just too competitive in your area or your city just doesn't allow it or the dumps charging $150 minimums. And I understand if you don't want to start this business model. That's why I said it's completely up to you guys. But that's my thoughts on that. So if you guys enjoyed, as always, uh, drop a like and comment for me. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.